Hello everyone. Before the video starts, I would like to talk about what happened during my last YouTube video. Here's a quick recap of what happened during the video, I guess. So pretty much me and my cousin went out fishing to the, the Sacramento River and um, we were going for striper. Pretty much he caught three striper. They were all over 18 inches and at the time I thought these were the only regulations that were, you know, I, th I, th I thought these were the only reg regulations I had to follow to fish for striped bass. I'll pop them up somewhere on the screen right here. He gave me, he gave me one, so he, my cousin caught three striper. They were all over 18 inches. He gave me one and that's pretty much what happened. Turns out I was wrong. Shortly after posting the video, I had received a few comments saying I was in the wrong and I broke the regulations. So pretty much after, you know, received those comments, reading what people were saying, I decided to hit up, um, I, I decided to go on the California Department of Fish and Wildlife website and go to the its contact page and contact um, a few people on that page. and. Because the first person I contacted was a director. I don't, I don't know what that title means, but um, they it said like something about like general information or something. So I hit them up about hit them up, and then also I got in contact with a, or I guess you could say local field office, which is it's called the North Central Region Field Office, and it pretty it's pretty much serving the, the Sacramento area and then pretty much all around there. I'll, I'll put it up on the screen where it serves, but it, it covers the Sacramento area. So yeah, that's where I was fishing at. And and um, I guess once I got in contact with them, oh yeah, before that, before that, when, when I did contact the field office, they, they put me in contact with a, a local, I guess, game warden that I guess, that, that is um like you know that is serving um the north central region area so yeah pop up you know like i said all the places the the field office is serving it, the game warden was you know serving in one of these areas and um pretty much explained the situation to the director and the game warden what happened during the video and the, about the comments i received and um i I asked them three questions relating to the comments I received. So question one that I asked both of them, can can you give another a striped bass after you limit out? Question two, can you keep fishing for them after you limit out? Or no, can you keep fishing for them if you limit out? Question three, can you keep a two person limit with two people present on one stringer. So those are pre pretty much the questions I asked them. And um, so I, after, you know, uh, after a little while, they, I guess I got, I got, I talked to the, the director through the email and I called the game warden. So, I mean, I talked to them at two different times, but they both agreed on the answers to these questions. So they both agreed that in question one, when it, when it says, can you give another a striped bass after you limit out? They both agreed on this answer, which says, yes, you can give your whole limit away to another person if you want wanted to. However, after you've caught your daily limit of striper, either two or 10, depending on where you are in the state, you cannot keep fishing for striped bass. If you have two stripers and the daily limit is two, you can give one away and you are still done fishing for that day. For that species so you can con continue on fishing just you can't go for striper which i didn't i didn't know that i didn't know that but um i'll explain it later in the video on why i didn't know that but um for question two can you keep fishing for them if you limit out they both agreed on no when you catch yeah when you catch and retain in your position a daily bag limit you're done for that species if you have in your possession less than a Legal limit, you can catch and release when you decide to keep that second or 10th striper in your possession, you're done. Yeah. And so for question three, they both agreed on, all right, here, here's the, all right, all right guys. So for question three, it says again, um, can you keep a two person limit with two people present on one stringer? 
they both agreed on this answer, which says, yes, there is no prohibition. There is no prohibition against combining the catch of two people on one stringer. So that's that's not a rule. So whoever, I guess, commented on my video, you, you are wrong. This is a game warden and a, um, a person that works with the the fishing game the fish and fish the California Department of Fishing Game the California Department and Wildlife person that you know both they both agreed a game warden and a director or whatever that title means again they both agreed that that's not a rule so you can keep a two person limit on one stringer just yeah that's that's not a rule so you can do that if you don't if you only have one stringer but yeah so okay everyone so i admit i made a mistake you know i should have known the um, should have known those rules existed but i you know i just didn't i know i have a good amount of people watch i know i have a good amount of people watching my videos and my goal is not to spread false information you know i, I want to give you guys correct and you know just legal i guess information about you know the sharper fishing which is what i do on the Sacramento River, you know, in California. And um, yeah, you know, if, if I knew at the time that um, what I did was illegal, I wouldn't have done it, you know, just, and I, I didn't know. So you can't, can't do nothing about it now. But um, I take a uh, full responsibility for what happened during that video. Um, you know, my, my cousin doesn't really go out fishing that much. I go out pretty often. So, you know, I should have known all the regulations and rules that you know that are part of i guess the, the striped bass fishing in california in inland waters so yeah after talking to both the director and a game warden they both agreed that i should take the video down because there was a violation in that video and i know i did so you know i did so you, you guys can't see that video anymore because you know like i said there's a violation in there and they did tell me to take it down so i did you know guys you know i, I post every time i go fishing and you know, like, I, I don't want to do anything illegal. It's, that's not my, I like, it's goal for this channel. You know, I just, I, you know, I, I like to follow the rules. You know, I just, I don't like breaking rules. You know, who likes breaking rules? You know, Let, let's be honest here. Especially if you're going to post out, like, why would you post something illegal? That, you know, if like you did, you were, you know, for sure you're going to get in trouble for doing so. You know, I didn't know. So, yeah. <clears throat> so let, let me tell you guys, uh, when I asked the game warden, the director didn't really help me out. They all they told me was like when I asked them where can I find the answers to those questions I asked them, this director person said, "I give you all the current information I have." So I don't know if this director person just didn't know where the answers to my questions were, or they just didn't want to help me out. I, I don't know, but yeah. However, though. When I, when I asked the game warden, where can I find the answers to my questions? This game warden gave me a different answer and this game warden told me to go to page 14 and 18 and I'll pop it up on the screen right now. But when you go to page 14 and 18, um, he, he told me to read on page 14, um, I guess you could say section T14 and 1.14 and the title says authorization for taking fish fish um and then amphibians reptiles blah, blah blah may be only taken in amounts during the open seasons and only with the gear authorized shall not be taken otherwise so yeah and then and then he told me to read the the next pretty much a thing under that which is bag and position limit t14 and 1.17 no more no more than one daily bag limit of each kind of fish blah, blah blah named in these regulations may be taken or possessed by any one person unless, auth unless authorized regardless of if they are fresh frozen or otherwise preserved and then um pretty much on page 18 he just told me to read the definition of take i mean i already know what you know that means so yeah but you know i guess more of the information is pretty much on 14 and you know and it doesn't necessarily say that 
uh, you, you know, I mean, th I mean, that's the confusing part, you know, it doesn't really mention anything about giving, giving away a fish after you caught a limit. And then also it doesn't mention anything about, um, it, does, it doesn't really say anything about, you know, you can't fish after you catch your limit on here. So, I mean, the game warden did say it, it the, you know, the regulations are kind of unclear, which, you know, I definitely agree on because definitely confused me you know it doesn't see like like i said though at the, at the time before i even before i even hit up the um what is it i guess not at the time you know when i was recording the video i thought that um you know like when when we caught those those three striper you you know you couldn't give the the first or the you know third one away or, you know, like his third one he caught. I didn't know you, could, you couldn't give that away. So, you know, that's something I know now. You know, I, w I wish I would have knew that earlier, but I didn't. You see, at the time, though, I thought, like, you know, so, the, you know, there's two of us. And, the, you know, out of two of us, we can catch four striper. And, you know, that, that's like, you know, I, we, we had three and thought everything was legal. And, you know, I just I didn't know those rules existed. So... You know, what can you do? It is what it is, yo. Made a mistake. And, um... Alright, guys. Well, that's pretty much all I had to say regarding my last video. You know, if, um... If some of you don't want to watch me anymore because, you know, I made that mistake. Um, you know, I did break the regulations in that video. Take full responsibility. I take full responsibility for what happened during that video. And, you know, like I said, though, if you don't want to watch me anymore, totally understand. Um, there's... Pretty much a bunch of other people that do what I do. And, um, yeah. But anyways, if you do end up staying and, you know, staying subscribed to my channel, shout out to you guys. You guys are some real ones. Um, I promise you guys I will do my best to follow the regula re regulations from now on. And, you know, if, if I have any doubts or, if you know, if I am uncertain about something, that I don't know what, what that, something related to, the you know the regulations about you know anything that i don't fully understand i will definitely hit up a game warden or definitely someone that works with the california department of fish and wildlife on the you know contact page or something like that and i'll definitely get that strained out so i'll make sure i'll, I'll make sure i'm giving you guys the correct and the correct information and so you guys won't you know do what what i did so hopefully you guys can learn from you know my mistake and you know just do better so yeah i don't know well guys that's uh that's pretty much all i had to say regarding my last video but you know if you guys yeah it's pretty, that, that's pretty much all i had to say for my last video but uh yeah stay tuned for the rest of the video peace What's up YouTube? Today is April 1st, 2024. Current time is 8.03 p or a.m. And today I'm at a different spot, you know? The last two videos I was at uh, the I Street Bridge and, you know, I feel like after making two videos there, it might get kind of packed over there. So I wanted to, I guess, change my scenery a little bit. I'm, I'm not too far away from the I Street Bridge. This is a uh, Garcia Bend. And, um... Yeah, hopefully I can have some luck here, boys. I I wasn't able to get pawworm or bloodworms again, which is I don't know they sell out really fast. <laughs> so I guess I got the, the next best thing. It's not mud suckers because they were sold out of that too. So I got today jumbo minnows. So hopefully, hopefully that works. But you know I got my uh, my other bait too, like night crawlers, uh, chicken liver, and sardines. So I'll I'll just try a bunch of different stuff today. We'll see. We'll see what happens. 
but yeah, let's get it, boys. Stay tuned, relax, and enjoy the video. Let's go. Oh, yeah. One, one more thing, though. Both my poles, um, Slatterway, Ultralight, one ounce, and this one has a two ounce. They both got the jumbo mint now. I'm just going to use them up for now. I'm about a half a dozen, so we'll see. See what happens. But yeah, stay tuned. All right, y'all, current time is 11.49 a.m. Gonna call it for today. It's a little day, y'all. Stay tuned for the recap, though. Right, guys here's the recap of the day current time is 12 17 p.m today i fished uh sacramento river garcia bend and um got skunked y'all i tried uh what is it tried using jumbo what is it jumbo minnows today i couldn't get bottle worm or blood worms today y'all they were sold out again man the bait shop selling out man they must be hitting on the <laughs> I mean, I know they're hitting on those baits, so. Makes sense that they're sold out, but. I really wanted to get some for y'all, you know, try try them out today, but. I don't know. I thought these, you know, jumbo minnows would maybe be a little better than a, a night crawler, so. Bought a couple today. Um, got not, not even a bite, y'all. Not even a little nibble on it. Casted close. Just couldn't catch anything. There's a couple of people around me that um, were catching fish. I think they. To me, it looked like they were casting out further and throwing either like a night crawler or a blood worm or a pot worm. And they saw a couple guys to my left. I think, they, I don't know if they were catching small striper or pikemen though, but they were like pretty small fish. Guy to my right, shout out to Javi. Um, just met him on the river. I think he was catching like fish the whole time I was there. And I don't know, maybe like every you know, 30 minutes or so. But I think he had blood worm or pot worm i think i think i think he had one of those either or nightcrawler too i don't know one of them but he was catching fish pretty much all day Every, and then when i left he was i think still catching them so shout out to that guy man he was on him today but yeah i, I couldn't figure i don't know if the fish don't want to buy my line again y'all three skunks in a row man that is so annoying man hopefully my my next video catch a fish you know I need, I need something on my you know my belt it's all right though i don't think i'm gonna try uh jumbo minnows for a while at least you know honestly though i feel like if the the big ones were swimming through in the shallows right here i think i would have had a good chance of catching one on the jumbo minnow but whatever anyways uh if you guys enjoyed the video or learned something new please like comment and subscribe i'm out peace Ha <laughs>